so there is uh, another type of agent yesterday we have seen like uh, the problem solving agent it is also called goal based agent now this particular problem solving agent is uh, is responsible for solving some sort of problems that will uh, provide into the environment and uh, in the problem solving agent we have different uh, formulation that we have to do so the first thing that we have to formulate here is the goal formulation and then we have to formulate the problem formulation means we have to see that what are the goal that we have to achieve and then we have to see that what are the scenario we have in which we try to achieve that particular goal okay so let's try to understand this problem solving agent now uh, the goal formulation the first thing that we have to do is based on the current situation and the agent performance measure in the is the first step in the problem solving so what is the problem so whenever we we got some problem to solve the first thing that we'll see is what is our goal right what is our goal so if somebody is saying that um, on the computer right so what is the goal the goal is to start the computer boot the computer this is our goal so for achieving that particular goal we have to see what is the current situation whether it is on or off right and uh, the previous performance measure also we have to see whether we can able to on it or we we doesn't able to on it in the previous year so this is the first thing that we have to do right the the goal formulation that what are the goal that we have and what is the current situation and what is the what is the agent performance measure next is the problem formulation so the problem formulation is a process of deciding what action and states to consider for a given goal so here the problem formulation is uh, we have to find it out different type of action that we can perform and different states that uh, we can consider for a given goal so let's say we need to on a computer so let's say this is the starting state and from the starting state if we perform one action we can reach to another state we can perform another action we can reach to another state from the same from that we might reach to another state in that way i can achieve the goal in 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 that particular state i need to do some more action to achieve it so let's say in the starting state Uh, there is a main switch that we have to on so the main switch we have to on first this is one action that we can do and if main switch is on then i can just uh, push the start button right so if i'll uh, on the main switch still i have to push the start button to on the computer and then it will on my computer will start and here the same thing after pushing the button the computer will on so what are the steps what are the action that we have to follow to reach the goal this is nothing but the problem formulation okay this is nothing but the for a problem formulation means whether we have to perform this particular action or this particular action that we have to decide the process of deciding what action has to be performed so whether we have to perform this action or this action that decision will be taken care in the problem formulation and then we have to find out different state so if we have done that particular uh, action then what is the next action right so in that way we we can achieve the goal so the first thing that we have to do in the problem solving process first is the goal formulation in the goal formulation we'll see the current situation and agent performance measure so what are the different performance measure it has so this is the first thing second thing is the problem formulation in the problem formulation we have the process of making the decision 
we have to decide what action has to be has to be considered first so that i can achieve the goal right so this is the the uh, the way how we can solve a problem in general an agent with uh, several inter uh, immediate option of unknown value can decide what to do by first examining future action that eventually lead to the state of known value now what it is saying that uh, initially what happen is we we are unknown uh, with uh, any of the options so we have the options uh, like to start the main switch or to uh, to push the button uh, the start button that is unknown sometime and we have to decide first that and we have to examine that whatever action that will take is is how it is reacting right so which lead to the state of unknown value so it is saying that whatever we'll do let's say we are in the starting state if we are on we are making on uh, a main switch so at that particular time only i get to know that what are the next step that will follow so that i'll achieve my goal okay so we have to in, start from the initial state very initial state but before starting we have to do goal formulation then only we can uh, go for the problem formulation so first we have to find out what is my current situation right now and what is the performance measure for the agent that how we can define an agent or how we can um, say that the agent is doing the right work so that is done in the problem solving agent we'll see uh, one by one all the process related to the problem solving so this is the process related to the problem solving the process of uh, of looking for a sequence of action that reaches the goal is called search so what we have to do is we have to search the goal that is the objective of any problem solving agent so we know the goal we know the set of actions that we have to follow we uh, know that what are the performance measure we have and based on that we search the goal we'll find out the goal right so this is the the process of all the uh, problem solving agent that is searching so the problem solving is nothing but the searching problem okay the problem solving uh, is nothing but the searching problem so the goal is there we have to search what search we have to search those sequence those actions and those action set of actions should be intended to reach our goal right so in the book it says that if we have to solve the problem it means that it is a searching problem and what we have to search we have to search the actions that we have to do or we have to um perform so those actions that is nothing but your search process so a search search algorithm take a problem as input and return a solution in the form of action sequence so what search algorithm will do is it will return the solution and that solution is nothing but the sequence of actions right so first will will perform that particular action then we'll perform this particular action then we'll perform this particular action, and then we'll achieve the goal so that is the sequence of action that we have to follow to reach the goal and that sequence will be will be the output of any searching algorithm once the solution is find the action is recommended can be carried out this is called the execution phase thus we have a simple formulate search execute design for an agent so it says that the when the solution is fine the action is recommended and can be carried out this is called the execution phase now when we find out the goal or when we find out the uh, the action the uh, the sequence so what we do is we execute those actions we execute those actions so first we have to see that what action is giving what outcome what action is giving what outcome what action is giving what outcome like like making the formula hmm. so 
what happens when we do experiment? We, we write the procedure that we have done first this and then this and then this and then this to achieve the goal, right? So whether a formula is right or wrong to achieve that particular goal, we get to know that once we get the solution. So once we get the solution, means that that particular process is right. So if that particular process is right, then we have to execute that pro particular process to achieve the goal. So that is the meaning of that. So generally what will happen in the computing, computing board, first we define the problem or we, we achieve the goal in, in theoretically. And after that, we execute it into practically. Okay, so that will happen. So first, the agent will search the solution in their computing uh, and getting the result after the computing. And once it will find out that this is the path or these, these are the action to take the goal, then only it will execute all those actions. Okay, that is the meaning of this. So first we have to formulate, then we have to search, and after the searching the goal, we have to execute. This is the process of finding out the, or to finding out the solution or to solve a problem using the searching algorithm. So formulate, search, and execute. First we'll formulate, then we'll search with this particular formula, whether we are achieving the goal or not. And at last we'll see that after achieving the goal, yes, this is the correct solution, then we have to execute that particular solution. So a simple problem solving agent, it first formulate a goal and the problem, search for a sequence of action that will solve the problem and then execute the action at a time. When this is complete, it formulate another goal and start over. So what it is saying that a problem solving agent will first formulate the, uh, for, formulates a goal that what are the goal that we have to achieve or we have to formulate the problem. So we have seen that we have to do two things. We have to formulate the goal and we have to formulate the problem, right? So that, is a, that is the meaning of formulate. This is the first process. Second process is we have to use the algorithm, the sequence of actions that we have to follow in the searching algorithm. So we have to search for the goal whether we will achieve the goal to, um, to do all those actions or not. And at last, if we achieve the goal, then those action will be executed. So these are the third step. So a simple problem solving agent will use these three steps to achieve the goal. Okay. And this is the algorithm for it. So let me So this is uh, this is an algorithm which will uh, tell uh, which will uh, depict the simple problem solving agent. So simple problem solving agent will take the percept. Percept means the sensor data, okay? And it will return action. What it will return action, and that action is nothing but the solution. What are the data structure we have persistent? We have sequence, SEQ, an action sequence, initially empty. Then we have a state, some description of the current word state, means what are the, uh, right now, what in which state I am right now. Then we have the goal, a goal initially it is null, so we have to formulate the goal. And then the problem, a problem we have to formulate. So the goal we have to formulate, the problem we have to formulate, and then we'll, we find the sequence, the action sequence, and then we'll analyze the state where we are. So let's say we have started from one state. So where we are right now, what is my current situation, right? So what is my state? And what are the percepts that we are getting from the environment? Or what are the 
sensor data I am getting from the environment. These two I am taking and I'll use into the update state and I'll reach to another state. So here what we are doing is we are in one state. We are in one state. We get some input and we'll reach to another state. We, take, we, we, we are in one state. We take the input, we reach to another state. So getting it. So this is uh, the way how we can slowly achieve the goal. And all the time, whatever new state we'll get, let's say this is the new state I have. So I'll, I'll just compare it with the goal, whether I have achieved the goal or not. Then I'll, uh, then I'll uh, formulate another state and I'll just compare with, the, with my goal, whether I have reached the goal or not. Then I'll formulate another state, whether I have achieved the goal. So if I am achieving the goal, so here I am not achieving the goal, here also I am not achieving, but here I am achieving the goal. So at that particular time, we have to stop. So your algorithm, sometimes we, we have to stop or we have to return, right? So what we have to return? We have to return those actions that we have, uh, we have done to achieve that particular goal. So first we have gone to some action A1 to reach S1. Then we have done some action A2 to reach S2. Then we have done some action S3 to reach goal. So the action is what? First we have done A1, then we have done A2, and then we have done A3. So this is the action that we have to we have performed to reach our goal. Right? So the first thing is we have to change the state, depend upon the environment. So what environment is giving us based on that, in, from the current state, we'll change the state. If sequence is empty, so initially I don't have any action, right? So if I don't have any action, then what we have to do initially, very first, we have to formulate the goal. We have to formulate the goal here. So the first thing that we have to do is to formulate the goal. So from the first state, whatever state we are, we have to formulate the goal. And then we have to formulate the problem with the state and the goal by using that we'll formulate the problem. And then there is a such, uh, such function that we have to apply into the problem to get the sequence. Okay. So if the sequence is failure, then return null action. Otherwise, what we have to do is the action that we have taken with the first sequence will be taken as an action and the rest sequence will be taken into the sequence means we'll keep on adding into the sequence and at last we'll return the action. At last we'll return the action that we have done. So action are nothing but the set of sequence or set of uh, uh, action sequence that we have done to reach our goal. Okay. So the how we'll formulate the problem, it is not defined here. How we'll uh, formulate the goal, it is not defined here. How we have done the searching algorithm, it is not defined. Here. Okay. So we'll see that how we can formulate the goal, how we can formulate the problem, and what are the different searching algorithms that we have to apply. Getting it? So these three things we'll see one by one. And we have different searching algorithms. We have... Uh, uh, informed search and uninformed search category. In the uninformed search, we have many searching algorithm. In the informed search, we have many searching algorithm. So what we are going to see in next two, three classes are these searching algorithm. That what are the different searching algorithm, which will give us the set of action sequence, which will help us to achieve the goal. 